Now what do red pandas, boy bands, lamps, and continuous glucose monitors have in common? This. This right here. That's right. The first ever full length computer animated film to include a CGM is going to drop in 2022. And I've got the details. Let's go. Welcome back all my type 1s, type 2s, modis, and ladas. My name is Ben, I'm a firefighter, paramedic, and a type 1 diabetic. And if YouTube content specific for diabetics like you is important, subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the diabetes world. Now don't you just love it when you see a diabetic character in a movie or a TV show? Now I will admit, it doesn't always turn out well, uh, but sometimes they get it right, like that movie right there with Gerard Butler. They did pretty good. In today's video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the two new trailers that just dropped for the new Pixar film, Turning Red. Next, we'll talk about a new celebrity in this film that has been blowing up social media and Reddit forums. Spoiler, she's diabetic. And then I'll wrap it all up by giving you a bonus diabetic character that you might have missed in the second trailer. Now for years, Disney has been at the forefront of making movies that have pushed us to the limits of our imagination. As I explained in this video about Coco, the diabetic monkey, Disney has definitely embraced the diabetic community. And part of Disney's magic has been their ability to pull us into their stories by creating relatable and likable characters. Even when those characters are just extras, like in this movie, Turning Red. As human beings, we need to feel both seen and accepted. So kudos to Disney and Pixar for including us diabetics in their stories. So the full length animated film Turning Red is a coming of age story about a little girl named Mei Lee, set in Toronto, Canada. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's right. The same Toronto, Canada where doctors Banting and Best first discovered a method to isolate and commercially produce insulin as a medical therapy. Now, if you've ever watched a Pixar film, you know that there is no such thing as a coincidence. Whether it's the Luxo ball that shows up in Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., and in Seoul, or even the California Institute Art Classroom, A113. That number shows up in Toy Story, it also shows up in Brave, and in Incredibles 2. With Pixar, everything has meaning. Don't believe me? Let me prove it to you. This, this is Domi Shi. She is the director of Turning Red. Can you guess where Domi's hometown is? That's right, Toronto, Canada. The birthplace of insulin therapeutics. Okay, so back to the movie. So, Mei Li is a confident, quirky, trendy, and fearless 13-year-old girl living in Canada. Now, throughout the movie, she takes time to hang out with her besties, fight for global preservation, get the grade, and is quite the flutish. And like most adolescent girls, she even finds time to crush on the latest boy band while dealing with all the chaos of adolescence and trying to satisfy her overprotective parents. So here's where it gets interesting. One morning, May discovers something quite unexpected about herself. She, well, she can sometimes turn into a red panda. And as you can see, May is not too happy about it. The story then goes on to develop the importance of family. It talks a lot about heritage and tradition and focuses on friendship and even rage. Come on, who doesn't remember being enraged as a kid? Anyone? Anyone? No one? Just me? Just me? Just me? Okay. So then this happens. So here's the diabetic character that I was talking about earlier that is blowing up social media. Now watch carefully. I'm gonna play a scene for you. And in this scene, May is in her classroom dealing with the embarrassment of a helicopter parent. Now let me know if you spot the CGM on the first pass. Did you see it? Okay, I'll slow it down for you. Now that's either a CGM 
or the largest white arm pimple I have ever seen in my life. But wait, there's more. Now this next one is super fast, so you're gonna have to keep your eyes peeled for an insulin pump. Are you ready? What is that? Oh, snap. I told you it was fast. Let's do it again in Now, any simpleton from the 80s would say, that's not an insulin pump, that's a Walkman. Okay, simpleton, where are the headphones? No, no, friends, that is not just another person with a nasty arm pimple wearing a Walkman with no headphones. That is, in fact, an insulin pump. Oh, but there's more. There's a bonus character. Remember at the beginning, I told you if you would stick around to the end, there's a bonus diabetic character I'd show you? I got you guys. I'll never let you down. Okay, so Turning Red actually has two trailers. The first one is really just an extended version of the last scene that I showed you, uh, where she turns into a panda in front of all of her friends. But the second trailer, it goes on with a little bit more character development. Uh, there's some backstory in there, and then there's this one scene. Ready? Did you see it? Okay, I'll show it to you again. That's so cool. Poor girl, I mean, she's getting pushed by a red panda into a, a john, that's what you still call it, kind of old. But a bathroom, a commode, commode. I kind of feel like commode is even older than john. What do you call a bathroom wherever you're from? Okay, Disney and Pixar, thank you so much for sending love to the diabetic community. I can't wait to see this movie. I'm Ben, I'm Type Me, and I can't wait to see you next time.